Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to our safety webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to create VHD SAT files in Hyper-V. A VHD SAT is a type of disk that allows you to share virtual hard disk between two or more virtual machines useful for implementing guest cluster. It enables the use of shared VHD X files making it easier to manage virtual machines that need to share disk data like in failover clusters or Hyper-V replica scenarios. VHD sets use metadata to store information about checkpoints and all aspects of managing the checkpoint chain and merging shared VHD sets. VHD sets use the .vhds extension. The VHDS file is only 260 KB in size and has an automatically generated AVDHX file that stores the data of the VHD set. The VHD set can be fixed or dynamic in size. VHD set needs to be stored in compatible underlying storage such as clustered SMB 3.0 share or clustered shared volumes. Let's go through the steps to create a VHD set in Windows Server 2025 Hyper-V. To get started, open Hyper-V Manager. Right click on Hyper-V Host Click New and then select Hard Disk. Click Next. On the Choose Disk Format page, select VHD SAT and click Next. Select the disk type for the new VHD SAT Virtual Disk. For this demo, select the Dynamically Expanding Disk Type and click Next. Enter a name for the new .vhds file and specify the location where you would like it to be saved. We will store this VHD SAT files in the VHD SAT folder on the edge drive. Click Next. Choose the Create a new blank virtual hard disk option and specify a size for the new VHDS in GB. We will use the default VHD size of 127 GB. Click Next. Review the options for the new VHD set file before creating it, then click Finish. The VHD set has been created successfully. Open File Explorer. Access VHD set folder. We can see that there are two files for the VHD set. The VHDS file is the VHD set file, which is the file that our virtual machines mount. The AVHDX file is the advanced VHDX file, which acts as the checkpoint file where the data is actually stored. Now that the VHD set virtual disk has been created, let's add it to the first guest cluster host. Go back to Hyper-V Manager. Right click on the first guest VM and select Settings. Click on SCSI Controller. Select Shared Drive and click on Add button. Click on Browse. Navigate to the location of the VHD set virtual disk that was created. Click on this PC, go to the H drive and open the VHD set folder. Select the taste-vhd set 01.vhds virtual disk and click Open. The VHD set virtual disk has already been selected. Click Apply to save the changes. If you get an error message like this, then you need to make sure that the VHD set files are stored on a CSV or a clustered file share. In this example, the lab is set up on a Windows Server 2025 machine running Hyper-V. If you want to taste VHD set in your home lab with just one node and no CSVs, you can use the filter driver command in an elevated PowerShell window to enable the use of your existing storage. To use this command, you need to install the failover clustering feature on your physical host. Click on Close and open Windows PowerShell. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. Type command install Windows feature failover hyphen clustering and press Enter. Wait for the installation process to finish. Remember, there is no need to create a cluster on this host. This is simply to bypass the VHD set storage requirements. We are doing this because we just want to test VHD set in our home lab. Now look at the volume that contains the VHD set. In our example, the VHD set files are stored on the H drive. Type the command fltmc.exe at h as VHDX FLT H colon. Just make sure to replace the drive letter H with the drive letter where your VHD set files are stored. Press enter to run the command. Now we are all set to go. Let's minimize the Windows PowerShell. The VHD set virtual disk has already been selected for this VM. Click Apply and then OK to attach the VHD set disk to the selected VM. This time there are no errors 
and the changes have been saved successfully. We need to repeat the same steps on the second VM to add the VHD set. Right click on second VM and select connect. Open run menu, type disk mgmt.msc and press enter. Check the number of disk attached to this VM. Click on file and select settings. Click on SCSI controller. Select shared drive and click on add button. Click on browse. Navigate to the location that the VHD set virtual disk is stored. Click on this PC, go to the H drive and open the VHD set folder. Select the same VHD set, test VHD set 01 and click open. The VHD set virtual disk has been successfully added to the second virtual machine. Click apply then OK to save the changes. In disk management, we can see the second disk that we just added. The disk is currently offline. You can bring the disk online, choose a partition style and create a partition on it. You can now create a guest cluster with Windows Server Failover Cluster host running as virtual machines. This allows you to provide resiliency for applications that are compatible with Windows Server Failover Clustering. VHD SAT in Hyper-V allows you to easily implement guest cluster architectures without the need for storage sharing technologies that involve complex and heavy configurations. That's all for this video on how to create VHD sets in Hyper-V. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.